causing concerns for folks living here in the valley. That's because of the Palo Verde nuclear power plant. It's about an hour west of Phoenix. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez is joining us live from Palo Verde. And Mary Ellen, you got an inside look at the facility today in places no reporter has ever been allowed before? That's right, Chris. We did. And it was amazing. Not only did we get to look inside an actual nuclear generator here at Palo Verde, but we also learned how this plant is very similar but very different from Fukushima Daiichi. Within hours after a nuclear crisis at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi plant, workers at Palo Verde nuclear generating plant formed what they call a war room. It leaves an impact. When you, when you watch those videos, it really does leave an impact on you. Here, they've been closely monitoring Japan's issues, using the information they get to avoid a disaster here. We'll be better. We'll, we'll, we'll enhance our drill capability. We'll make modifications to the plant. Unlike Fukushima Daiichi, we learned how Palo Verde has its reactor and cooling pools in different buildings, both under missile-strong concrete. Not even a plane can penetrate. These walls are very thick con concrete, uh, very strongly reinforced, and provide a much greater level of protection. Not very many people get to see this, but take a look. This is the inside of the nuclear reactor. And I'm not sure if you can see that glowing blue. That's the fuel inside. Palo Verde also has five backup sources of power to prevent a shutdown. What you're looking at is the emergency generator. If for any reason power fails to the reactor, this is what will kick in. At Fukushima, it worked for a short time and then failed. The equipment, as far as we know, rode through the earthquake itself, a very substantial earthquake. But once the tsunami came, went over the, uh, the wall there, that's when their electrical systems uh, got a lot of water in them. Now, what you're looking at right there live are the cooling pools here at Palo Verde. What happens is the water goes into the nuclear reactor and helps cool it. It's then brought out here and recycled and cooled in those pools. The smoke you see rising up from them, that's not actually smoke. That's steam. That's how hot it is. So the next time you drive on I-10, you know exactly what you're looking at. Now, even with all the protection they have here at Palo Verde, they say they are constantly guarding against threat, especially terrorist threat, and they do not let their guard down. Live at Palo Verde, Mary Ellen Resendez, ABC 15 News.